Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2018 Ford F-150 Lariat in this gorgeous black color. This truck comes accident free and is a four wheel drive, four door, five passenger pickup truck with a V6 engine mounted to an automatic transmission. Starting on the exterior with some of the notable features, you've got this really aggressive black expansive grille with the Ford badging that extends all the way across the front of the truck. And in front here you've also got a couple of front recovery hooks as well as these really aggressive headlamps with the LED daytime running lights and the fog lamps for some additional style and utility. Coming around to the side of the truck, you'll notice these massive 20 inch alloy rims that the truck currently rides on and those are wrapped in the all-terrain tires. Just above, we've got the F-150 Lariat badging and if we take a look at the mirror here, you've got the LED turn signal indicator integrated right into the mirror. Just below we have the side step that runs all the way along the bottom of the truck so you can get in nice and easily. And up top here we've also got this rain guard which makes it nice and easy to keep the rain off your windows while you're driving. In back here you have some privacy glass for some additional tint for the rear passengers or rear cargo. And as we move along the side of this truck you'll notice the great looking side profile as well as the rear profile. And in the rear, of course, we have the Ford badging as well as the F-150 badging embossed right into the tailgate. And you've also got the hitch that this truck comes installed with. And of course, you've also got the EcoBoost badging back here as well. This tailgate is nice and easy to open. It's a soft open tailgate, so just hit the button and it'll open right up. And in the bed here, you'll find the Armaguard bed liner that makes it nice and easy to ensure your bed doesn't get too scuffed up regardless of what you put inside. This is a rugged truck and it's built for work or for play. So let's go ahead and hop inside and fire it up and see what it's capable of. Hopping inside this F-150 is nice and easy thanks to the smart key system, but of course you do have your standard lock and unlock buttons on the key fob as well. And you've also got remote start, which is a really, really nice feature to have. You've also got the button to drop the tailgate, which is another handy feature. But like I mentioned, this truck is equipped with the smart key system, so simply walk up the key on your person and put your hand in the door to unlock the vehicle. You've got this button there to lock the truck. You've also got the number pad there that you can unlock the truck with as well. Inside, you're greeted with this gorgeous black leather seating. These are very, very comfortable seats and they look fantastic thanks to the nice accent stitching on the bolsters and the headrest. Just below the driver's seat, You've got the power adjustable seat controls, including the power adjustable lumbar support, which is a very nice feature to have. So let's go ahead and hop inside and check out all the features that this truck comes equipped with. And there are lots. The features inside the F-150 start over here with the push button ignition. Simply put your foot on the brake and push the button to start the vehicle as long as the key is in the car. If we take a look over at the driver's side door panel, you'll find this great looking plush black armrest here, the nice leather finish, and you've also got the great looking accent stitching. You've also got this silver door pole, which houses your silver door handle, and you've got this great looking carbon fiber finish to this panel here, which looks and feels very premium. Take a look just above, we have the controls for the power windows as well as the power mirrors, and these mirrors are one touch folding mirrors which is a really nice feature to have on a truck of this size take a look just below you've also got the buttons for lock and unlock and you've also got the driver's seat memory settings which is a really handy feature when you're switching drivers just below you've also got tons of storage in the door panel here as well as an extra cup holder and if we take a look just below the climate vent on the driver's side, you've got the buttons for the lights on the sides of the mirrors. And just below that, we have the automatic headlights as well as the other headlight functions. And you've also got the dimmer switch for the gauge cluster, as well as the buttons to toggle your fog lights that I showed you on the exterior. And of course, your bed light as well. Below that, we have the parking brake. And we've also got this button here, which moves the pedals forward and backwards so that you can always ensure that you're comfortable when you're driving, regardless of how long your legs are. If take a look at the steering column here, you have the buttons to telescope the steering wheel in and out, and of course you also have the tilt steering. These are all power options, and it's a very nice feature to have. Speaking of the steering wheel here, on the left hand side you have the buttons to navigate the screen in the center of the gauge cluster, and I'll show you what's included in that in just a moment. And just below that we also have the buttons for the cruise control. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at that screen. You can see at the bottom there, you've got the odometer in the very left hand corner. And you can see that this truck currently has 100,125 kilometers on it. Next, you've also got the gear, so you can quickly check what gear the truck is in. And on the very right hand side, you've also got the direction. Up top, you've got a bunch of digital gauges, including your temperature and your oil pressure, as well as the a fuel gauge. And you can also see the fuel range up top. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the center of the screen here. And on this very first menu, you have your trip and fuel settings. So you can quickly toggle between two different trips to track your kilometers. Next, you've also got your fuel economy and fuel history. And you've also got the navigation and compass if you have that enabled. And finally, you have the auto start stop feature, which will turn the truck off for prolonged stops in order to preserve fuel. And it'll start it right back up again as soon as you hit the gas. The next menu is your truck information and you can see you've got your gauge selection here so you can quickly switch between what you want to be showing in that last gauge spot and you've got options for your turbo gauge and more. You can also check your tire pressure and the digital speedometer and finally you also have engine information. The next screen is your towing screen so this will give you your towing status as well as the towing information and trailer light status. You've also got the trailer setup and the connection checklist. This is a really cool feature so you can ensure that the trailer that you're towing is hooked up correctly. Simply select the type of trailer that you're towing and it will give you a checklist to ensure that you've done everything correctly and that you will be towing safely. The next screen over is your off-road screen so you can quickly check your off-road status which will show you the angle that the truck is at and more. You can also check your power distribution through this screen here to see where the power is going to each wheel. Your final screen is your settings menu and you've also got all of your safety features in here including your automatic high beams, your blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alerts, driver alert, and your rear park aid. You've also got the trailer blind spot and the DTE calculation and finally you also have your lane keeping system. You can also access some advanced settings through this menu here including the vehicle, my key, and display setup. So let's go ahead and take a look back at the steering wheel. And on the right hand side here, you have the controls for the audio system, including your volume up, volume down, and audio mode selector. And you've also got the track selector buttons. Just below that, we have the button to mute the system. And we've also got the Bluetooth hands-free calling buttons, as well as the voice recognition button. Take a look over at the center of the dash here, just below the climate vent, we have the drive mode selector. So you can quickly switch between two wheel and four wheel drive. And just below that we have the trailer backup function, which is a really handy feature to help you back up a trailer. And you've also got your trailer brakes just below here. If you take a look up top, we have that great looking B&O sound system that you'll find throughout the interior, which sounds absolutely fantastic. And you've also got this great looking storage cubby here, which has a nice grippy texture to make sure that anything that you put in there doesn't slide around too much while you're driving. If you take a look at the buttons on the top, just above the infotainment system here, you've got the downhill assist, as well as the traction control buttons. You've also got the hazard lights and the button to bring up the backup camera. You've also got a bird's eye view camera on the right hand side there, so you can quickly check everything that is around your truck, which is a really handy feature. And when you're done cycling through, it'll bring up the infotainment system again. Finally, you've got that button to toggle the auto start stop feature that I showed you earlier. Just below that, we do have the touchscreen infotainment system. You've got all kinds of options here. For your audio, you've got your standard AM, FM, and XM options. You've also got a CD input as well as your Bluetooth options. And this vehicle does come equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can sync up your phone with ease no matter what type of phone you have. You can also access your climate controls through this menu here, including your heated steering wheel, which is a very nice feature in the winter. You can also use the tactile um, climate controls at the bottom and I'll show you in just a moment. You've also got the phone menu if you have it hooked up to your phone via Bluetooth. You've also got navigation. This truck does come equipped with navigation which is a really handy feature. And you've got some additional apps that you can uh, access through this menu here including your Sirius XM travel link. Finally you've got your settings menu including all of your standard settings and you've also got your valet mode as well as your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto options. You've also got the Wi-Fi and hotspot options through here and this vehicle does come equipped with 
the system Wi-Fi if you want to hook that up. If you put this vehicle in reverse, of course, you'll also find that backup camera that pops right up. And you can zoom that in as well. Just below the infotainment system here, we do have the passenger airbag warnings, and then we also have the tactile controls for the audio system, including your volume up, volume down knob, and you've also got the tuning knob, as well as your radio presets, and of course your forward and back button. Below that, you'll find the dual zone climate controls that this vehicle comes equipped with, including the air conditioning for those hot summer Okanagan days, and you've also got the heated mirrors for those cold winter days. Below that, you also have the three-stage heated and cooled seats for both the driver and the passenger, which is a very nice feature to have to keep everybody comfortable on the drive regardless of the temperature. Under this little sink panel here, you've got the great looking carbon fiber finish as well. You've got a couple of USB ports to keep everything charged up, and you've also got a great looking storage cubby with the nice rib design as well. You can hide that by just pressing on that panel and it'll slide back over. If we take a look uh, in the center here, we've got, of course, your gear shifter, and you've also got the um, cup holders on the right-hand side here. And if we take a look over at the bottom of the shifter, you've got the uh, lane departure alert button to toggle that on and off, and you've got the parallel park function, which is a really, really cool feature. If you press that, it will search for the um, vehicle on your right-hand side and will help you parallel park the truck. You've also got this massive center console here with the nice black leather and the accent stitching. And inside you've got plenty of storage space as well as this little sliding compartment here to keep everything nice and organized and easy to access. Just to the right, we've also got a 12 volt outlet as well as an AC outlet. And of course your standard glove box and the carbon fiber finish continues here in this tiny little storage cubby just up below the dash. Take a look in the footwell there, you've got the same great carpeted mats and on the passenger side door panel you'll find that same great design to the door panel including that carbon fiber piece there and you've also got the controls for the power window as well as the power locks. Finally moving up top here on the driver's side door panel or on the driver's side um, sun visor you've got the programmable garage door buttons so you can easily open that up and you've also got a handy little sunglasses holder here and this is also where you'll find the power sliding rear window so you can slide that open and close with the touch of a button and of course you've also got the controls for this massive panoramic sunroof this is a gorgeous roof and it extends all the way down the truck which is a really nice feature for those summer days to increase airflow and to let a lot of sunlight in. So let's go ahead and hop out and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this truck. The rear of this truck you've got more of that same amazing black leather interior that looks fantastic with the nice accent stitching and you've also got tons of legroom for the rear passengers. Back here you'll also find this handy fold out armrest for the rear passengers and you can also fold out a couple of extra cup holders. This is a nice padded leather armrest and it's very comfortable. Back here you'll also find the two stage heated seats for the rear passengers as well as a couple of USB outlets and an AC outlet and of course you've also got a 12 volt outlet in there as well. You'll also find a couple of handy storage pockets in the back of the driver and the passenger seat and you've also got on the door panel here, the controls for the rear windows. And these seats also do fold up in a 60-40 split. So there's a latch underneath here, just grab that and you can fold it up to reveal tons and tons of interior storage space, which is a really nice feature when you have something that you wanna store inside and not in the bed. Fold it down, grab the latch again, and you can pull that seat right down. That concludes this short video walk around, but this truck is absolutely loaded with features and there's tons I didn't get to show you. So make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota located at 1200 Lead Head Road or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.